And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1 800 5800 TOP. 1 800 5800 866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Here's a story from Yahoo. Many of you sent this story in. I'm telling you, I got at least 50 or 60 emails with people asking me to talk about this. And you know my attitude, even if I don't give a rat's ass about it. When 50 people write in and tell me to talk about the same topic, that's a call to arms, baby. It is. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Here it is. She's plump, powerful, and ready to cause more controversy than supersize me. If you know what supersize me was. You don't, do you? I love these stories where people write about things and they assume you read about uh, something else or remember something. I know what supersize me was, but I'm willing to bet the average person doesn't even know what it was. Let me just ask these random people. Hey, Hello? Yeah. A uh, question for you. Uh, supersize me. What is that? Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good. I'm asking you a question. Uh, do you know what supersize me is? Uh, for a meal? There we go. Uh, okay. Supersize me. Do you know what that is? What's that? I'm asking you a question. Turn the radio off a second here, okay? All right, I got you. All right. Supersize me. What's that? Uh, the movie about McDonald's, right? Oh, okay. There you go. One knows, one doesn't. Supersize me. What is that? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes. All right. I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to expect you to respond at the end of this sentence, okay? Okay. As soon as you hear the sentence end, that's your time to speak. Are you ready? Yeah. What is supersize me? Um. All right. Do you know? She said, "Hold on." No, don't. You can't ask somebody else. What is supersize me? What? Oh, Jesus. Hello? Hello? Yeah. It's Tom. Yes. I got to wait for you to take people out New York style. I'm not ready for that yet. Oh, you're not. What does supersize mean? Supersize? Uh, no, I don't. Sorry. You don't know what that is? No. Yeah. Okay. You see the point I'm trying to make here? That's your average intellect right there. What you just heard, that's a cross-section of America. So when when the guy on Yahoo.com writes this story, maybe maybe he should realize the average person is not that savvy, doesn't read or watch a lot of documentaries. <laughs> All right, back to the story. She's plump, powerful, and ready to cause more controversy than supersize me. She's Fat Princess, the star of Sony's upcoming video game of the same name, debuting at last week's E3 Expo. The colorful Fat Princess is a capture the flag game with a twist. You can thwart capture attempts by locking the once thin princess in a dungeon 
and stuffing her full of cake, thereby increasing her girth and making her harder for your enemies to haul back to home base. According to popular gaming blog Joystick, that's Joystick spelled with a Q, yeah, two feminist gaming sites have already voiced their displeasure with the weighty issue. <laughs> feminist gaming sites. <laughs> <laughs> Feminist gamer's Mighty Pony Girl rings in diplomatically, suggesting a new way to play the game altogether. She says, instead of running out to the forest to find cake to fatten up the princess with, there's good uh, English, to fatten up the princess with, why not go out and find gold, which is a lot heavier than cake, to stuff into a treasure chest? The more gold in the chest, the heavier it would be and the harder it would be to carry, she said, before adding, oh, but that's not as cute as cake and fat chicks. Right. Who are the primary customers of video games, gals? Sweetie? It's guys. Guys. Guys who hate fat chicks. The only reason this game was created was because the people who created it know their audience. And it's guys who hate fat chicks. Now over at the other feminist gaming site, Shakesville, writer Melissa McEwen cuts to the chase, telling Sony she's, quote, positively thrilled to see such unyielding dedication to creating a new generation of fat-hating, heteronormative a-holes. Heteronormative. Sony did not create fat-hating uh, a-holes. <laughs> we existed long before Sony was a company. Says here Sony is yet to issue an official response, although Joystick did receive a particularly informative update from James Green, Fat Princess's lead art director who clued gamers in on the origins of the game. He said, does it make it better or worse that the concept artist who designed the look, characters, everything, is a girl? Then this software columnist from Yahoo says, hmm, hope the game's detractors don't mind eating a bit of crow. Judging for the look of most feminists, they don't mind eating a bit of anything. I don't think it's crow. I don't think it's crow, that's right. Wrong species. <laughs> Clam. <laughs> I, yes, well, you're right. <laughs> so there you go. So that's the game. It's Fat Princess. Yes, yeah, you can avoid being captured by uh, locking the thin princess in a dungeon and stuffing her full of cake. And then when she's really, really fat, it's part of your enemies to haul her back to their home base. There's no problem with this. And uh, again, you know, uh, why should, uh, should, should gaming uh, be politically correct? Should games be politically correct? Video games? I mean, come on. Remember all the people who complained about Lara Croft? The character, what was that game? Lara Croft, Tomb Raiders? Tomb Raider? Who remembers? That's the early days of computers, that game. But uh, nonetheless, people complain because she had such a perfect body. <laughs> What's wrong with that? that the, the gamers are teenage boys. They want to see hot chicks. They don't want to see big, fat lesbians running around uh, uh, with uh, you know superpowers. They don't want to see that. Nothing wrong being a lesbian. It's just that 14-year-old boys have no interest in seeing, uh, you know, 180-pound girls on, a, on an animated computer screen. They don't. Now, there are some people who might argue 
that because it's kids, we have some obligation to to not teach them certain concepts or whatever. I say teenagers already have their uh, uh, beliefs about fat girls, and, and therefore there's nothing wrong with including fat girls in a video game. Fat princess. Do you have a problem with a game like this? 1 800 like this. Tom, Tom. 5 800 Tom like this. Like this. 866 Tom like it. Like it. Yes, here we are. Teeny up after the devastation of the devastating earthquake. Just devastating. And remember, please do not use your telephone except in cases of real emergency. Mikey on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? And yes, I do care. I'm doing great, Mikey. Well, listen, I'm calling about the stupid people trying to censor what people are playing in video games. If you don't like it, don't buy the stupid game. I'm so tired of this. And these feminists that think that they're doing everybody a world of favor, just let people live their lives. If they <laughs> like the game, let them play it. Oh, my Lord, this is getting ridiculous. <laughs> I'm trying to be really good so I don't get in trouble cursing on your show, but these people make me want to say some... Oh, I understand. Things. By the way, uh, you're not here in L.A., but for anybody who is, uh, Channel 2 has finally found the only damage in Southern California, and they have a helicopter flying over it and a camera trained on it, and they are filling copious amounts of airtime <laughs> with the one wall that fell down during the uh, devastating earthquake. By, by the way, please call the Red Cross. Send your donations immediately to help all the victims of the Southern California quake. I'm sorry, go ahead, Mikey. I was just saying, did the wall fall on Brittany, please? <laughs> <laughs> you know, my biggest thing is I am trying to raise a son in all of this stuff that's going on, and I'm trying to teach him to think for himself. And you've got all these people out here telling him, you should be mad about this because they're telling you this. And you should be mad about that because they're telling you that. Well, how about the fact that my son can't go out on a date for, with a girl for the simple fear that she's going to nail him with statutory rape charges if they get caught? You know, these people are just raising all these these fighty little girls. And they just need to start thinking for themselves and know that, hey, i got to take responsibility for me. Yeah, well, uh, I agree with that. And uh, if they're not getting you for sexual harassment, they're getting you for child support or something else. Precisely. Alimony. Yeah, I've been raising my son by myself for 17 years. I've never asked for one lick of child support from his father. And right, I there's, that, there's that wall again on Channel 2. They're showing it again. The one, there's one wall that fell. There's like some bricks that fell off a wall. And Channel 2, it just keep, here in L.A., just keeps showing it. Over and over and over. They, it, they had to go high and low looking for any damage in this earthquake today. And Channel 2 finally found one place where something fell down. And they uh -huh. have got that camera trained on it. And it says breaking news. <laughs> uh, look, from the looks of that picture, it looks like the news already broke. <laughs> Well, you know, we don't get too many earthquakes down here in Washington. I swear, if you're in L.A., you have access to Channel 2. Turn it on right now. you got to see this. It's, it's they, I mean, I, I don't know how many cities and towns they flew over before they finally found some evidence there was an earthquake. Now they're showing some guys, some, I guess these are cops standing around the crime tape next to the bricks, and then the camera goes back to the bricks. That's well, it. Maybe Maybe they were holding bricks. And then some fat chick with a lot of eyeshadow on giving her comments on what it was like. <laughs> they were probably holy bricks, Tom. <laughs> Thank you, Mikey. I'm sorry to, sorry to interrupt, but, you know, I'm fascinated by this. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Chris on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, hi, Tom. How you doing? I'm doing Okay. Yeah, yeah, I was calling. I, I, I consider myself, you know, a gamer. People I know, they, they all call me gamer. They call me a nerd also. But I was uh, reading up on this whole thing today, too, and I was wondering if you are going to talk about it. Uh, I just think, you know, it's a bunch of bull how uh, they're trying to be politically correct with video games, you know? When, well, they're you know, not trying to be politically correct with video games. There are people who want the game makers to be politically correct, but they're not. I, I know, but but you got all the, you, we have all these games out, you know, and... 
totally from my point of view, what's the big deal? Okay, people are getting offended by a game, you know, when there's other things that people can be offended about. You know, people... Why really not? Why should anyone care if they're offended? That's what I say. Remember when Grand Theft Auto 4 came out? All the people who complained about that? Exactly. I have, you know, I have Grand Theft Auto 3, and I have Grand Theft Auto 4, and I have all the other ones, and just because I play them, doesn't mean I'm going to go out, carjack, shoot up a bunch of cops, or go rob a bank, or knock over a liquor store. I play it because I like playing it. I play it because that's my genre, my genre of game. Right now, I'm playing a game where it's a first-person shooter, and, you know, I'm, I'm shooting up terrorists. That doesn't mean I'm going to go to the Middle East and start knocking, knocking everybody out, you know what I mean? Right. And they're getting up in arms saying that this game is offensive to women, that, oh, this isn't funny, this is, this is wrong, this is wrong. You know what? If you don't like it, don't buy it. If you don't like it, don't play it. By the way, how stupid are they? The more they complain about this stuff, the more they protest, the more it sells. How many people have heard about Fat Princess for the first time because of the protest? Exactly. I mean, I had no idea about this game until I went online today and I saw it. And I said, the big controversy to myself. I was like, what's the big controversy? So I started reading about it. And then as I'm reading about it, that's when I realized this isn't a big deal. There's worse games out there than this. And, you know, I probably buy some of those games. You know, these games that mothers complain about or women, or feminists com complain about, I buy most of the games and I don't, I don't make a big deal out of them. You know, yeah. I like playing them. I know people get offended by them, but I know a lot of people that play them and I know a lot of people that play Grand Theft Auto and they don't go out and knock over liquor stores. They just like playing games. We play all the time. And now, I, 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 for one, never knocked over a liquor store until after I played Grand Theft Auto 4. Oh, yeah. Well, and then I realized, why am I buying malt liquor when I could be out there knocking over liquor stores and getting it for free? Exactly. So I, I, that's when I started my career of knocking over liquor stores when I played Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. You know, no one's ever gotten caught. I can't before. speak for others, but for me, that that was the beginning of my uh, career in crime. Yeah. All right, Tom. It was nice talking to you. Can you take me out Compton style? Of course I can, Chris. Here you go. Bitch. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Here is Joe on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How's it going? Great. Hey, man, I knew it was just a matter of time before this reality uh, TV stuff bled into the gamer circuit. I'm listening to you. Oh, okay. Well, basically, uh, <laughs> I, I, I kind was of... Was that your home? That. Uh, that all your material right there? I'm, I'm no, sorry. No, I... No. Okay, that was great. I think it was all his material. There's the bricks again, by the way, on Channel 2. They're showing them again. I think that's the same footage. They're showing it over and over. <laughs> now they have a split screen. They got the bricks on the left, and they got some chick with her two kids there on the right talking about the earthquake. Oh boy! One eight hundred five eight hundred. Oh yes, this was devastating. Devastating. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, that's our telephone number. Michael on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Michael. How are you, man? I'm great. Dude, we actually went to E3 last week. I was there with a whole bunch of friends. I took the day off. I saw this game firsthand. I can't wait. Wait, they have another <laughs> angle on the bricks now. They've got it from another side I haven't seen before. Well, there's the, Oh, now they're at the <laughs> same angle again. They're flying around the bricks. Sorry. Go ahead. I can't wait till it comes out. I actually called every game store I possibly could to find out when it was coming out so I can put down a deposit. I can't wait. And I, God knows when the, when the game does come out, there's going to be a whole bunch of uh, protest at video game stores because of this video game. This is ridiculous. They should have gotten Kirstie Alley or... Valerie Bertinelli or Pink or somebody to uh, you know pay them an endorsement fee and make make them the actual person make them let them play the fat princess. Exactly, exactly. I mean, I I, I was I had I actually I went to a video game store when uh, the fourth Grand Theft Auto game came out, and I actually got yelled at and screamed at by these mothers who didn't want the game out. I was like, you know what? If you don't want it out, don't buy it for your kids. That's all. That's all you have to do. That's all you have to do. Tom, can you take me out with a um, 
Kobe style? Yes. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Frank on the Tom Like a Show. Hello. Frank. I just said that. Yes, you did. And I am very, very disappointed. This is the first time I listen to your show, and I think you're full of crap. Sorry. Why? Because everything is okay with you, man. No, everything's not okay. They Killing they people isn't like, okay. You're like, okay, listen, you don't like the news, don't watch it. Right. There's if you don't like the news, don't, don't watch it. Right. Listen, Frank. I'm um, sorry, Tom. No, you're Frank. <laughs> no, listen to me. You can't radio, remember your own name. Radio show, yeah, you're right. Radio show holes like yourself make this society a problem. You have to realize we have to fix the problem. Frank, what's your real name? My Dean, name Dean told you not to use your real name, didn't he? Yes. Yeah. Right? That's right. Yeah, so what's your, yeah, this is your middle name, Frank. What's your first name? I'm sorry, I'm losing you. <laughs> Guy couldn't keep a straight face. Frank the Crank. 1-800-5-800-TOM. That's our telephone number. That's why nobody can remember their name. He tells them all to change their names. <laughs> now Dean says he didn't tell them to change his name. Okay. <laughs> Sam on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello. Is that a question or a statement? No, I just think that the more that all these women complain, the more that going to start getting freedom taken away. Well, no freedom's going to get taken away here. On the contrary, I think the fat and fuglies are going to sell more games for Sony than they ever would have imagined. If I, was, if I were Sony, I would go to Central Casting and find a couple of fat and fugly actresses to play the part of protesters. And then I would get them to interview by the news media about uh, you know, how terrible this is, how bad it is for the image of young women, blah, blah, blah. And, of course, they'd be guaranteed to sell half a million games. I, I just think if they don't like it, they don't need to watch it. The more people complain about things that are offensive, m more of our freedom is being taken away. I mean, you can't smoke in Calabasas. You can't drink here. You can't do... I mean, it's just crazy. You can't discipline your child. Now we have kids on a bunch of meds, all doped up. It's just crazy. It's, <laughs> the world's going nuts. The world is going to hell in a handbasket. Yeah. And it just sucks for people who have little kids. By the way, I tried fitting the world in a handbasket. It just wouldn't fit. Yeah, we're too fat. <laughs> well, thank you for that. The world's going to hell in a handbasket, everybody. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. This is Fred on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Fred. How you doing, Father? I'm doing great. Wait, the Channel 2 is back in that store now where nothing fell off the shelves. And they're showing the video they showed before of the stuff that didn't fall off the shelves at a convenience store. <laughs> aisle after aisle of stuff that didn't fall. <laughs> Well, but they're not showing that hottie Mia Lee on there, are they? Uh, no, I did not see Mia Lee today. Uh, Mia Lee in her nipples. I did not see her today on the <laughs> line. Anyway, Father, I just want to comment on this game. I mean, I've been a gamer for, like, forever. And you know what? I I thought the, I think the game looks like great fun. I don't see what the whole problem is. I mean, more of these uh, feminists are... Them Nazis, as Howard Stern would say. Uh, by the way, us, by the know. way, you know why I know this is the same shot because the same woman keeps ducking out of the way when they come around the aisle. Mm -hmm. they, I know it's the same store because there's this woman who like didn't want to be on TV and she's trying to duck out of the way of the camera, <laughs> and they keep showing the same video with the same woman ducking out of the way. <laughs> you see, I think they ought to have a game called Fat Wife. <laughs> and in the game, you marry a really hot chick. Yeah. And as time goes on, uh, she cuts off her hair, and then uh, she takes your paycheck and cashes it in and spends it on, you know, Cinnabons and uh, pedicures and manicures and expensive uh, pocketbooks.
Until one day she's so fat you can't lift her out of your living room and toss her out the front door. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Where there is so much damage and devastation in today's earthquake, won't you help? It's the Tom Likas Show. I was just watching Channel 2 here in Los Angeles, and uh, they broke in on the constant repetition of the video of the brick wall that fell down in Pomona. To uh, read emails from listeners, they had them on a map. And they had the uh, guy, like, using a mouse to click on various locations. Sheila was in a Trader Joe's. And he clicks on the Trader Joe's, and the, this big bubble appears with Sheila's comments. It was kind of a rolling motion. <laughs> oh, my God almighty. I mean, seriously, if you are not watching television or listening to all news radio when these things are happening, you are missing out on some real comedy. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, they went back to the bricks now on Channel 2. They're back to that. The what? <laughs> The one piece of devastation they could find. Breaks on some industrial building. Oh, there's the Judge Judy TV. That's the other good video they've got on Channel 2. Judge Judy tried to call order to the courtroom, but somebody had to remind her this is a television show, you moron. What a way to die. Oh, my God, you're killing me. 1 800 5 800. What's your topic tonight, All anyway? right, I'll get back to it for Christ's sake. It's the video game from Sony, Fat Princess. And now the fat and fugly females are complaining that this is uh, not fair to have a video game about a fat and fugly female. 1 800 5 800 Tom, that's our telephone number. Jason on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Tom, so glad to hear you made it through today's catastrophe. Oh, my goodness. I had to drive it, through all the streets of Hollywood. Oh, my. Terrible. Terrible. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I'm watching the Channel 2 News. is, is people's reaction is after earthquakes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, and, and here they are. Oh, first of all, they go to, like, the epicenter. They're standing on top of the fault, and they're saying, was this the worst earthquake you've ever experienced? <laughs> Yeah. Well, and you know, if you if you live at the epicenter, of course it was. Yeah, and this defendant that was on the Judge Judy show, she just stayed there. She she's like the last person to leave, and she just wanted to go on with the show. Well, Judge anyway. Judy, Judge Judy hadn't excused her from the courtroom yet. Yeah. <laughs> Judge Judy was probably <laughs> still sitting there too. <laughs> but anyways, I mean, I think personally, this should be the issue at hand is you know the media and uh, this coverage right here because this definitely is comedy. But, um, I mean, as far as the issue at hand with the video game, I think the only issue is the, the actual, I mean, plot, whatever you want to call it, just sounds completely stupid. And I really don't know anyone that would want to play a game like that. Well, uh, here's the thing. Uh, it may be a lame game. It may very well be. But... I'm talking an age of Halo's, you know, 3, no, whatever, and Grand Theft Autos, and now we got this, this... I mean, I haven't heard, read anything about the game... From what you're saying, it's about a princess. And it sounds to me like game. it's for younger gamers. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. I mean, okay. If you look at the, I look at some screenshots of it and stuff, and uh, you know, this looks like it's for your ten year old nephew to play. Okay, a ten a, a ten year old game. I just my guess. Title. And and the title of it's like Fat Princess. Fat Princess. Fat Princess for ten year olds. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I mean, do you have a ten year old? I don't. I have a I have a seven year old nephew. Okay. okay. And, he, and he plays and, video games. And you would let him play that game? Absolutely. Okay, I feel the same way as well. I want him to learn that fat chicks are no, not good. Let me put it this way. I'd rather have him play this game than watch this news that we have that we get fed up. Oh, and Channel 2's got the bricks up there again in case. Yeah, they got the bricks up there. <laughs> I know. What's great is they're actually fishing through the uh, the same footage that happened. Here's here. breaking news now from Channel Two. Yeah. Bricks. And these anchors just have a, you know the most straight face on their. <laughs> they're just good. It's real. You know, oh serious. my yeah. God! Save me! This is dreadful. I know. So I'm glad to hear you made it, Tom. Well, uh, it was kind of a rolling motion. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then they went to the their their computer footage. Uh, you know, oh, oh. Using, I think they're using Google Maps there for a second. Now, did you see? Did you? If you were watching Channel Two here in L.A., did you see the? Uh, did you see the guy they had on who was reading emails from people who wrote in? And they had like a oh. geographical map and with little <laughs> balloons above each location where the emails <laughs> came from. Yeah, I know. I was watching that while I was on hold right uh, now. It is a scream. I mean, they, they, all this coverage of absolutely nothing. This is almost as about as good as the coverage when we have real bad rain and then they go to the interviews of people on the streets, you know, like, wow. Yeah, Can't they go back to the day. Kevin Trudeau infomercials wherever they run on Channel 2 the rest of the time? Yeah, I, I really. They don't want you to know whatever his new book is. Come on. Right. Exactly. <laughs> I don't know, Tom. I don't know. But as far as this game, yeah, you know, hell, let them have it at it. I mean, I mean, are we tra- are we really going to try to censor people nowadays? Is the question, you know? Hey, but it's all you know. This is the same old story. This goes back to the days twenty years ago of the TV show Married with Children. Oh, I love that. Married with Children uh, about twenty years ago was one of the lowest rated shows on TV, and there was a woman, and I even remember her name, Terry Ricolta. She lived in Michigan, and uh-huh. she started a campaign to get married with children off the air. Why? What was the major issue? Oh, because it was so children? misogynistic and offensive. Oh, right, right. Uh-oh. It was a little bit too much of reality, Ted Bunny sticking yeah, well, to the chances man. are, Yeah, well, chances are, you know, she was the, 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 the butt of the joke, actually, wow, I, I would guess. Just my guess. Well, anyway, the, uh, the, the, the irony of that whole situation was... Most people had never even heard of Married with Children until Terry Ricolta started her campaign to get it off the air. Right, exactly. And after the campaign started, the ratings went through the roof. Right, so they're shooting themselves in the foot. Married there, with right. Children exactly. ended up running, what, 11 years? <laughs> yeah, no, that's what, that's what I was, tripped me out. You said that no one really knew about it. I was like, wow, that was like, people like cried to see it, you know, go. No, but in the beginning, uh, you know, when it was one of the first TV shows on Fox. It was on the first night Fox was on the air. Oh, right. Back right. then, Fox had hardly any viewers. Nobody knew what it was. Exactly. Hard to imagine, but 20 years ago, Fox had no viewers. All right. But, I mean, I think the good news, I'm looking online here, it looks like they're already catching Oh, well, there's the bricks again. On I'm sorry, Channel 2 has now got another shot of the bricks. Oh, yeah. Breaking news now from Channel 2. It's live, local, and late breaking. Yeah, breaking news. <laughs> breaking bricks, breaking. <laughs> no, I was just reading online. The good news is they already casted, uh, I think they they almost got Rosie O'Donnell to sign on for the feature-length film of that cake. <laughs> That's straight IMDB. <laughs> That's breaking news. I thought they were going to get Courtney Love. <laughs> Have you seen her lately? Is she found out? Oh, I, ever since she gave up the heroin. I mean, she, oh, God, she is... Oh, God, the Botox just exploded, huge. right? Huge. I, I saw her one night on The Tonight Show. I was mm-hmm. blown away how big she is. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, the future. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know, Tom, can you blow me up? Well, yes, I can. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to uh, Alex on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Professor. Uh, hello, Alex. Um, I just had to call in and let you know the Japanese know what they're doing with video games. All of their women in their games are big breasted. Every single one. Well, that's because of nobody in Japan with big breasts. <laughs> and the, uh, they had the Dead or Alive beach volleyball game. They had physics for the breath alone. <laughs> I do love it. That's what they do. <laughs> I mean, I mean. Also, they all have uh, you know the eyes of the Western world. Uh, they very oh. rarely see people who look Asian in Japanese video games. Of course, they have to make them look Aryan because that's the foreigners. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> and I also just had to say, I was listening a couple weeks ago when you did the radio loop, when the guy wouldn't. Oh, the Channel radio. Two! Channel Two has got the uh, wait. Channel Two has got that store now where nothing fell off the shelves. And uh, here comes that woman. Wait, almost there. The woman who has to duck because the camera's coming. Here she is. Here she is. Here she is. There she is, right there. 
Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> I was just saying, the radio loop you did the wild act to tell people to turn off their radio? Yes. I was laughing for 10 minutes straight. That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be hearing that for years. Oh, well, I'm going to be looking forward to it. Excellent. Can uh, you take me out bomb grip style? Here you go. <coughs> it's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. They just showed the woman again in the store. <laughs> I mean, Channel 2 has about 40 seconds of video that they've been repeating. Here, they're showing it again! The store where nothing fell off the shelves is on Channel... Is anybody tuned into this? Is anybody seeing what I'm talking about? This is the same thing. We don't have the sound on because I'm working. So they are just showing this. It's, it's like mind control. I feel like I'm going to jump off a bridge when this show is over because I've seen the same video 8,000 times. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Carlos on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? I'm doing okay. Real quick question, Ma. What do you think it would affect you more? Imagine you're a 10-year-old kid playing this game... Or watching two guys kissing like they were showing, showing in the news uh, a couple of months ago. They're getting married or two girls kissing. <laughs> what would affect the kid more? Well, I imagine the two guys kissing. <laughs> but someone should make a video game out of that, too. Like, that, I think we, I think that we, would be an issue right there, right? I think we ought to do that. <laughs> But what would affect the Yeah, I mean, seriously, if you want to sell a product, because believe me, I'm the king of controversy, as you know. You make a video game called Two Guys Kissing. That would be the name of the game. And in it, two gay-looking guys, you know, they're running around the streets of uh, San Francisco. And somewhere they run into each other, and then they start kissing. That That's all you need to make the game. Pretty much, and then the more they kiss, the more points. Boing, 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 on the screen. No, uh, you can make it the lamest goddamn game of the world, and there'd be somebody in Alabama who would be protesting. No, it's cool for the protest and all that, but think about it, man. What would affect, I mean, let's say you had a kid, a 10-year-old kid, playing this game, <laughs> or seeing you guys get into what would affect this kid more? Exactly, man. Exactly. <laughs> People complain about the stupidest things. But, hey, they put the other things and that makes it, oh, oh that's okay. Yes. You know, but they put it on the news. You know, they put it on the news. I was watching TV when they all saw what was going on and my kid was looking at that. I'm like, what the hell? I'd rather him watching play with him watching two guys' kids. Well, we got to take a break here because Channel 2 has uh, footage of a store where nothing fell off the shelves. I got to look at that. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. There was a 5.4 earthquake in Southern California today. All the devastation, all the damage. Please contact your local charity. Send money. We need help. SOS. The Tom Likas Show.